in the question number 23 two two coaxial solenoids are given in which solenoid s2 is kept <coughs> inside the solenoid s1 as we know field outside the solenoid is zero therefore field due to solenoid 2 outside it must be zero therefore force f2 must be zero now to get the force f1 which is magnetic force acting on solenoid s2 due to solenoid s1 if we draw a side view of this diagram we get this view this is s2 and the outer is s1 if field due to s1 is into the plane of the board then according to the formula I B L F equals to I B L we get the direction of the force at every point in the radial outward direction therefore net force on the solenoid S2 must be 0 it means F1 is also equal to 0 therefore correct answer is 3 the question number 24 percentage loss in the energy during the collision is asked as we know that loss in kinetic energy in case of perfectly inelastic collision is given by half mu v relative square where mu is m1 m2 upon m1 plus m2 and v relative is v1 vector minus v2 vector ka whole square in this question initially first particle of mass m is moving with velocity 2v along x axis and another particle of mass 2m is moving with velocity v along the positive y axis therefore magnitude of relative velocity will be given by under root 2v ka whole square plus v square that is root 5 p square therefore loss in kinetic energy is given by half m into 2m upon m plus 2m the 3m into 5 v square which comes 5 by 3 m v square now we calculate initial kinetic energy to get the percentage change initial kinetic energy is simply summation of kinetic energy of two particles that is half m 2v whole square plus half 2m into v square from here we get 4 plus 2 6 by 2 3 3m v square therefore percentage loss in kinetic energy delta k l upon k i is given by into 100 we can say because we are finding here percentage change therefore we have to multiply 100 to get the percentage change therefore it is equal to 5 by 3 m v square divided by <coughs> 3 m v square into 100 which is equal to approximately 56 percent therefore the correct answer is answer 1.